It seems like Battlestate games buffed AKs in Escape from Tarkov recently. Are they worth to play right now? What are the benefits by playing an AK? Let's talk about that in this video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I have another video about AK systems in Escape from Tarkov. And it seems like Battlestate games made a buff for the AK platform. And today we are talking about is it worth to play the AK right now? What are the benefits from playing the AK and is this buff enough to bring AKs back as a certain meta weapon? So as always grab a drink or two and let's start with the video. So I was really happy to hear that Battlestate games buffed AK systems in Escape from Tarkov. I started my game and I was a little bit frustrated, a little bit more ergo sometimes, almost the same vertical recoil and recoil in general. So this buff is not a big buff for AK platforms. They are still not a big meta system. In my opinion, you have two very good options. One is the AK-103 with a 50 round mech. And if you're using 762 by 39 BP, you can shred your enemies quite well. This thing is impressive. It worked really well for me. I made a video about the AK-103. You should definitely check that out. It is still a very good gun. And the other option is the RPK. The RPK is a budget meta weapon because the RPK and the AK-103, it's like it feels better than it looks like. So you have 50 something recoil and 70 or 66 recoil with the AK-103, but it plays much better. With an AK-74M, for example, you can also have 54 recoil, but it will cost much more compared to an RPK. And the thing is, this recoil stats and this ergo are way too high if you compare it with some other meta weapons. So in the AK-101, it's still not that good. It's like you are using the bad things from both worlds. It's like, yes, you can shoot 5.56, but you will have also way too much recoil for its costs. And on the other hand, your ergonomics aren't that good. It's like you have 43 vertical recoil and about 50 something ergonomics or 40 something ergonomics. And that's not good for that recoil. Of course, it's something else. It's not the same thing, but we are talking about meta weapons or cheap or good builds. And the thing is to get these certain stats, you will have to spend some ruble into your AK platform. And that's what I mean with a meta weapon. Battlestate games could do a little bit more with AKs, especially the AK-101 or like 545 by 39. So, and another point is why do we have so much more recoil out of a 545 AK compared with a 556 AK? This doesn't make sense. So what do you think about AKs in Escape from Tarkov right now? Are you playing AKs? Let me know into the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Do not forget to like this video. Your like helps a lot. Also your comment. And do not forget we made a Discord. But we are Germans as you may know. So we don't have any sense of humor. That's why we need you on our Discord. Come by, chit chat a little bit. And see you in the next video guys.